And we've got more stormy weather coming our way. Andrew Kozak is here with your next weather forecast. What can we expect for this next week? Looking at some fresh information, we went ahead and pushed the button for a next weather alert day for Monday and again for Tuesday for a couple of different reasons. And we're going to be busy here over the course of the next 48 to 60 hours. Yeah. Let's we'll keep walk. you working on it. Oh, well, I know you guys <laughs> will. Let's walk over to the wall, check out Cape May. Looking pretty good right now. We don't really have a whole lot happening other than some thickening clouds. Eventually, that will lead to rain for most areas across New Jersey, Philadelphia, and then snow, and quite a bit of snow possible as we head over toward the mountains. All right, let's start off the top with a couple of headlines for you, what we are tracking right now. Next weather alert days are Monday and Tuesday. We know that for sure. What does that mean for you? It means be weather aware. Note that it will not be very nice to travel, to be on the roads, or to just be outside over the course of the next couple of days. For Philadelphia, rain and a light mix. Monday night into Tuesday, we may see a couple of flakes mixing in, maybe even some very light accumulations. For the Poconos, 6 to up to 12 inches of snow. No, we do have a winter storm watch for Carbon and Monroe County. He's going to go over that in just a bit. Now, for Tuesday and even into the first part of Wednesday, there's lots of wind behind this system. We could see gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour. So here's the winter storm watch. Right now, the only counties are Carbon and Monroe counties. This is where the cold air is in place and enough snow is going to fall. So this means we'll have 6 to 12 inches very possible for both Carbon and Monroe counties when all is said and done. Tuesday, gusty winds over 45, again, even up to 50 miles per hour. Here are the clouds and radar now. This system kind of splitting in two a little bit. The rain that you see here across the mid-Atlantic, some of this, maybe just a few drops on the windshield, not really reaching the ground, but it's going to really gather some strength over the course of the next, we'll say, 6 to 12 hours. And by the time we get into the morning hours on Monday, even a couple of flurries that we're seeing across Carbon and Monroe counties now will start to pile up with some moderate to heavy snow. And across the Jersey Shore, we're going to be looking at wind and rain. So let's get your future cast going. Midnight tonight, everybody's settling in bed after watching our news, of course, at 11. We're going to be looking at an onshore wind, thickening clouds, and eventually some drops. There's 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll have snow to the north, rain to the south. It becomes a bit heavier and steadier as we get into the afternoon hour. So really, kind of a murky, gloomy day, but the snow will pile up. You can see those darker blues north of Allentown. That's going to pile up pretty significantly throughout the afternoon on Monday. As the system kind of spins back around, the second part of it comes back in for Tuesday. And with enough cold air in place, we'll even see some flakes flying in Philadelphia. The big question for us here in the city will be, well, does any of this really add up? I can tell you right now, preliminarily, not really. There could be a little bit, two-tenths of an inch. That would be just under the three-tenths of an inch we've had so far this season. So we're looking at very light amounts for most of us. Allentown, maybe an inch, inch and a half, and then things start piling up for Mount Pocono. There's where we have that 6 to 12-inch mark. Behind that, look at the winds on Tuesday. 30, 40, even close to 50-mile-per-hour gusts by Tuesday night into Wednesday. Finally, the sigh of relief comes as we head into the end of the week. 37 tonight, cloudy and chilly, rain late toward the morning. Here's your seven-day forecast. 40 on Tuesday, 49 Wednesday. Thursday and Friday looking much better. 50s, 60s, and less wind. We'll track a couple of showers as we head into next Saturday with highs in the 50s. Aziza? Thanks, Andrew.